Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another weekly grind video. I know I did not do one last Wednesday. I typically do it on Wednesdays, weekly grind Wednesdays. Um, I got caught up with all the third year anniversary stuff. So apologies about that. I'm going to follow up. This is going to be the global weekly grind, uh, the one that I was supposed to do last week. Tomorrow, I'm going to follow up with the JP weekly grind, which I'm also going to record today. I'm just going to release it tomorrow, so that way you have some content throughout the week while I'm gone. Um, so keep that in mind. I will not be here on Thursday or Friday. I have a whole bunch of summoning videos. I just didn't want to post up all, like, all my summoning videos and I give you actual real content. So that's why I'm going to be doing that. If there's any news updates on Thursday or Friday, and probably on Saturday, I'm probably not going to be able to get it out to you. So uh, with that being said, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and let's go ahead and jump into the video. First things first, the ultimate pair, the other world. Both of these events are live until 8, 12, August 12th. If you're not aware, that's about another one, two, three and a half more weeks. So you have about another three and a half more weeks before this goes away. Uh, so just make sure you keep that in mind. One, two, three, yeah, three and a half. Um, so these are the events where you go and you get the medals for Todoku Awaken, your Goku and Vegeta, or Goku Angel and Vegeta Angel, to their LR variants. You're going to want to run the stage 10 times total, each stage 10 times total. If you're trying to prep, in case you do pull them in the future, 10 times total. And then you want to go up to the other stage, like the Super Vegito stage for Vegito, the uh, Majin Buu R category uh, medals that you needed, um, or the Intelligence Vegito, drop seven at a time, you're going to need to do that. Um, you're going to need to grab five of them as well five runs total for 35 medals total so um that's what you're going to need to do in order to get them i think it's total of 10 runs on the hardest level for the uh, uh, goku and vegeta events um per event and then five on just the majin buu arc category of vegeto and the intelligence vegeto events so uh, with that being said this is going to be around for another two and a half or three and a half weeks so you have some time to grind it out i already grinded most of mine out i'm still doing the lr vegeto just because it never really went hard for him so uh, if you guys did pull him, just make sure to do that event uh, next thing is going to be Goku Six Days to uh, Galaxy's Edge. Uh, this isn't a, like an event you can run over and over again. You do it once a day. Please make sure you're doing your once a days. Um, I still haven't used a lot of my stuff for the Baba Shop category stuff or the Baba Shop category, the Baba Shop um, medals that you get from this. But still, go ahead and just at least do it. There's a lot of really, really good rewards that you get from completing the missions. If you haven't been doing it, please just continue to do it or go ahead and start doing. It. At least you get some of those rewards. Um, that runs uh, every day until 8.12 as well. Um, also, the uh, Extreme Z Awaken Gohan or the Easy A Gohan is going to be available until 8.12 as well. Highly recommend you getting him 100%. I personally went with full crit. He will be when he um, Extreme Z Awakens. He will go to be the Namekian leader. You have to go get him from stage one. Stage one can also feed into, if you want to grind that out, to the Intelligence Support Unit Gohan or the Icarus Gohan. They, he feeds into both of them. Um, if you want to go ahead and get him to Super Attack 10, but go ahead and get him to Super Attack 10. Definitely do that. You only need to uh, get level one and level two, uh, like normal and Z hard. When you do uh, get him from here and Z hard, all you got to do is get him, get him up to T or uh, uh, Z awaken him. When you Z awaken him, feed one dupath path that does a mission, and then go to the next dupath path and get that from the mission until you have all the dupath paths unlocked and slowly start getting the Super Attack 10. While you're getting the orbs, get the orbs on the top left, bottom left, and top right dupath. path. While you're doing that, you'll get more and more of those Gohans. So you really only need to run this event one time each. And the one time you'll have to actually run it a lot is Stage 8 and uh, Stage 7 for the actual medals. I'm pretty sure those are guaranteed drops as well. So uh, there you go. Go ahead and grind that out. Anyway, outside of that, this card isn't really that great as of right now. I personally am not going to go for him. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go and use him in actual teams. Uh, my freezes are already set up, so unless they increase the drop rate of the actual orbs, or not the orbs, the metals, to get Frieza with a Namekian lead, like double the amount of metals and stuff like that, then there's no reason for me to actually run the Namekian team. But I will do easy awaken him when he becomes available on global, just because why not. Um, this again runs until 8.12, so make sure you go ahead and do that if you're interested in that. Um, 818, you have the legendary Super Saiyan, the Broly stuff. Um, this is where you're going to Doken Awaken your Goku, your Gohan, and your Trunks. This is the Goku that Doken Awakens. Gohan that Doken Awakens. Trunks that Doken Awakens. Trunks is really good because he's a key or manipulator. I would recommend at least getting him Doken Awakens because he can do a little bit more damage. Gohan is really good because he does attack plus 90% uh, when he's performing a super attack. So he is actually pretty decent on a, uh, on a mono agility team or a hybrid Saiyan team. If you don't have the uh, Super Saiyan team Gohan. 
and Super Saiyan Goku is not really that great in my opinion, but uh, when your key, when your HP is above 30, you give yourself three key attack plus 5,000. I still don't think he's a great unit, but uh, he does. He's, he, um, he gets an the, all three of these guys get an extreme Z awaken at some point. So uh, just keep that in mind that these guys will do that at some point. Also, you can in increase the uh, super attack of your Videl, the uh, the waifu Videl, uh, with the SSR that's here, and you have SR Kid Trunks that also drops, which is pretty much be Baba points for you if you're trying to get your Videl maxed out. Uh, the reason why I say that is because if you get Videl maxed out and you get her dupe pads and stuff, give her doubles. Always give her additionals because she is a really, really good debuffer and chance to stun the enemy. I believe it's chance to stun. I know she restores health. Um, but yeah, so she's a very good unit in terms of, you know, specialties, not damage dealing. But anyway, that's what that's what's available here. Stage 5 is the Videl and Trunks. Stage 6 is the Awakening Medals. And if you happen to need, like, any Sensabine Stage 3 and Shamos or Shamu, whatever the heck you want to call him, is available on Stage 1. Again, it runs until 8.18, so you have a full month left at that. Uh, Battle of God stuff is here until 8.13, so you have some time. You get the Beerus, the God of Destruction Medals will Doken Awaken your God Goku. You need the Super Saiyan Goku. That's a very common SR pull. You'll need the medals from this event. The Beerus uh, Battle of Gods Medals will Doken Awaken. It will help Doken Awaken. And where are you? Here you are. So to get the White Hot Face Off Goku, you're going to need the Videl, the Gohan, the Vegeta, the Trunks, and the Goten Medals. In order to Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan God, then you go up here, you do the Beerus event, and you can Doken Awaken him again to become Super Saiyan God Goku, the, uh, the physical one. I still haven't Doken Awaken mine, I just don't really feel a need to because I don't really run him. Um, the Beerus Medals will Doken Awaken your Intelligence God Goku card. Uh, the Whis Medals will Doken Awaken both of your Whises. The, um, the Technique Whis is really good because uh, he has a high chance to stun the enemy and reduces their attack. The um, Intelligence Whis is a support unit. Uh, the free-to-play Goku isn't that good, and that's about it. Beerus Metals are Stage 1, Whis Metals are Stage 2, Stage 3 and 4 are going to be the peel-off gang stuff, items, support items, really good. Stage 5 is Gohan, uh, Stage 6 is Trun uh, Goten and Trunks, Stage 7 is Vegeta, Stage 8 is Videl Metals, uh, Stage 9 is Goku, the free-to-play card. Again, not really worth it in my opinion, but you can do that. Um, and then a whole bunch of support items in the last three stages. Uh, Peel off is really cool if you're looking for people to counter attack. He reduces super attacks to normals. Uh, Shu is going to be key plus three, and Mai is reduce enemies attack by 30% for one turn. Uh, so outside of that, really, you know, decent event. It has some cool stuff. Uh, next is going to be the summons. The dual Doken Fest is now is still on, as you guys probably are aware. Um, the 300 hour special ends in two, uh, three days now. All right, so I think it's, it's almost like two and a half days. So make sure you guys have do your discount summons if you guys want to summon on this banner. Because when you do your discount summons, you get three, get one free, and you get the tickets. After that, it's gone, and you will only be able to do standard multi-summons on it. So it's kind of worth it, in my opinion. Um, if you haven't done your discounts, highly recommend at least doing the discounts on them. Um, I know some of you don't want to summon on it because you're waiting for other stuff. Um, this is the banner that I went hard on because this is the one that I wanted dupes and whatnot. So um, I wanted the Goku Angel, the Go Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and the Super Gogeta. And I could do it with another dupe of Super Janemba, which is cool. If you guys saw my one video that I released, I got a dupe of Super Janemba, which was awesome for me, by the way, because now I have the bottom right and top left dupe pads unlocked. Uh, anyway, again, this runs for three more days or two and a half more days. Make sure you summon on it while the discounts are there. After the discounts leave, it's not going to, well, you're going to lose out on your chance because the rates are going to stay the same. Uh, next is going to be the third anniversary ticket summons for the tickets you get for logging in and doing your daily logins. Um, I, I've been shafted. I haven't gotten a damn good thing. I think the only thing I've gotten in terms of the units here for SSRs, I got the Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, but I, I already have them, so I didn't really need them. I mean, it's cool because I got my Super Saiyan Goku all four dupe has unlocked now, but I mean, I'm never going to use him. But uh, yeah, a lot of people I saw pulling LRs and stuff. So if you're going to go ahead and do that, go ahead and do that. Make sure you finish it by 8.16. You have a little bit under a month, two days under a month to go and get uh, use your tickets. Once you lose them, they are gone, guys. You will not be able to use them again. All right? They do not come back in the future. Make sure you summon, all right? If you're waiting for a video, I'm going to be dropping that soon because I do have a video coming. I have not done a lot of these on camera. I didn't even record them, so I won't even be doing any voiceovers with the stuff. So I only got, like, two videos dropping for the ticket summon just because, you know, I didn't think it was really worth it in my because I have too many summon videos coming out anyway. I'm not big on summon videos. Um, next is going to be the special sum friend summons. Uh, runs until 8.12. I actually recommend... If you have a lot of points, go ahead and go in there. I have a hell of a lot of points. You get a whole bunch of cool items, and you have a chance to get the Grand Elder Kai's, uh, which are really freaking good to increase the super attack of the, the attribute that you pull them on. 
So at some point, I'll probably just sit there if I'm like really bored or something like that. I'll probably just sit there and just keep on doing a whole bunch of those friend summons just so that way I could use them up and maybe I can get some of them Grand Elder Kai's. But make sure you do that. You only have, you have uh, under a month left to get all them taken care of if you want to. Uh, I plan on doing that. Um, the agility and the intelligence mono banners are available. They're only here for a couple more days. The intelligence banner ends in two days. The agility banner ends in five days. Now, this is where you get an Elder Kai and you get a whole bunch of orbs. I highly recommend if you if you guys are free to play and look at the orbs, look at the units you have. If you have really good units for a specific attribute, make sure you summon on that banner for the orbs, unless you actually don't need them, but make sure you do that. I'm summoning on all five myself. But I'm just letting you know that it's going to be highly worth it if you're going to go ahead and summon on this because of the fact of those orbs. You get so many damn orbs. I was able to finish getting my Kefla to 100% because I summoned on the physical banner. So uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, this ends in about five days, and this one ends again in two days. Uh, you also have a chance to get LRs, though they decrease the rates for non-featured non SSRs, which means, though, you have a higher rate to get one of the support units if you haven't got them. Unfortunately, myself, I still don't have either of the agility support units, but I'm not that upset about it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for the weekly grind video. Please make sure to subscribe if you're new. I will be dropping the JP one tomorrow. Uh, I will be recording it today, though, so if any new information comes out tomorrow, that will not be part of it. But that will be dropped tomorrow, so that way you have some more information. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to sub if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.